Chris Jones, represent Physiques and Greatness, and this is another episode of Cooking with Chris. Homies and homemates, finally back in cooking the crisp once again. This is gonna be a nice parmesan crusted tilapia. I know it sounds good, that's because it is good. And we got a special guest. We got Vince over here. Thank you, Vince. And this is uh, for y'all who are new to the channel. People who are subscribed to well, I know what time it is. This is one of the pickiest eaters ever. Yep. This is gonna, I'm, I'm curious to see if he's gonna like it or not. I'm curious too. I haven't tried one thing I don't like of your cooking yet. Okay. So we'll see. Have you ever ate fish? No. Vince never ate a fish. That's a challenge. I've tried it, like, just a taste of it, uh -huh. but I know I don't like seafood. Oh, and fuck, so man. Fine. Oh, fuck. But, but I'm, give, I'm giving you a chance. I'm, I'm trying hey, to. I'll keep in mind the recipe here. Mm -hmm. You can actually do the same thing, but you yeah. can use chicken breast fillets, chicken tenderloin. It doesn't have to be fish. So, you don't like it, you can try it again with, with, uh, with you know, with, with, with meat, with uh, chicken. Yeah, I know my mom, she really wants to try it. Well, she's gonna love it, man. She likes, anybody that likes sloppy is gonna love this, okay? Let me show you what you're gonna need before we begin. And this might be the quickest cooking with Chris ever. Don't quote me on that. If we don't talk too much, we'll have you in and out this bitch. If you don't burn yourself again. Yeah. I'm gonna have to put that America's Funniest Home Videos or something. You seen it? Yeah, I'm going to. Oh, I'm gonna tell you, hell yeah. Anyway, right now we got the oven preheated to 350. It's counting down right now. Preheat your oven to 350. All right. We got some uh, breadcrumbs over here. Show them what we need over here. Okay. We got some panko, no, don't, non-flavored panko breadcrumbs. Half a cup. Got some shredded Parmesan cheese. Half a cup. Two tablespoons of butter. And whatever seasonings you desire. Let me see. I'm showing them that one. Okay. In case they happen to want to know the brand. Yeah, in case they happen to give a fuck. You can use any brand you want, but it's the All brand right. I chose. Okay? And any seasonings you desire. This is what I'm going to be using today. What we got today? We got some pap pap paprika. Old Bay it goes real good on poultry and fish. We got some light mayonnaise. See, this is light mayonnaise is different than regular mayonnaise. I'm going to show you real quick. Fuck it, man. Uh, like this. Some, um, what is this? Yeah, here we go, here. Lowry seasoned salt. And garlic powder. Now look, this is light mayonnaise. Can, can, can this focus this? Yeah, it, it's getting it. Hold Shit. Give me See a how I got four grams of fat per serving? Give me one second. And there. Four grams of fat per serving, okay? Mm -hmm. This right here is 10 grams of fat per serving. You see that? Yeah. Gotta wash those fats. Go on the light mayonnaise. All right. And last but not least, can't have a tilapia recipe without fucking tilapia. So I got thawed out, thawed out in cold water. You can buy these at Walmart. Let me show you how it looks. Buy these at Walmart. Okay, this is how it looks. Frozen tilapia. All right. See, you like that shirt, Chris? Oh yeah, man. Shirts yeah. is those. Get big and die trying. Swole crew. Go buy about 30 of them bitches. Let me get a close up on that on that right there. All right, all right. There it goes. Oh, we got a new shirt coming out real soon. Mm -hmm. Don't want to tell y'all, but you're going to absolutely love it. All right? So let me go ahead and show you how it's done. First, I'm going to open these tilapia bags. Okay. Now, before you begin, spray your uh, pan, outline it with foil. Okay, and spray it with some Pam or whatever calorie free spray you got. Okay, and go ahead and take out the bag, rinse it slightly with cold water, just like that, and bam. Okay, do it one more time. <laughs> take out the bag. Yeah. Rinse it off with cold water. Shake it off. And bam, be right back real quick. All right, so I got the tilapia in the pan. Chris, I think you should show them how to do it one more time. No, <laughs> yeah, we're trying to keep it short, guys. We're trying, guys. We read the comments, we're trying. We're gonna try to keep videos. We're gonna, we're not gonna fucking, you know, be angled about it, but we're gonna try to keep y'all videos 
But you, you know, you know, some people like the long ones too. Yeah, I like the long ones too. You know what I mean? They like to hear us just talk, whatever. Yeah. Well, put it, this, put it like this. We're not gonna make them unnecessarily long. Yeah. If we just happen to be long, that's the that's the buzzer. It's preheated at 350. All right. So I got my old base seasoning. Come over here. Let them see what's going on. Go ahead and hit it up real good. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Gotta shake. Get up. You can season the bottom if you want to, but in my opinion, it's unnecessary. Why you say that? It just it's it's gonna get on here. The flavor is enough. It's gonna it's gonna get on here. Now you want to season the top and bottom, go right ahead, but you don't have to. Spring a little bit. This is a low sodium. No, it's not. They have a low sodium. You don't have to they, yell, Chris. <laughs> you don't have to yell. They have a low sodium um Laurie's out. You can go get that. I didn't get the low sodium. I thought I did, but I don't. But it doesn't matter. I don't really give too much of a fuck. All right, guys, seasoned up. I got the shit looking pretty. Y'all wonder why I got it crisscrossed? Let me show you why. I never because, knew there was a difference. Because not enough space, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I crisscrossed it to give it space, that's it. All right, here we go, 10 minutes. Not 12 minutes. Tilapia cooks fast as fuck, guys. 10 minutes. Hey, can we fast forward this shit, man? Let me back up a little bit. It's been a long time, man. Damn. What are you looking for? I'm looking for my new spatula, man. New spatula? Yeah, Get a spatula, it's going. You already know the whole story. Here it goes, guys. Y'all ready? <laughs> hey, man. I still got it, bitch. How's it look, Chris? Looking pretty good, looking pretty good, man. We go get a, a view around of that. Okay. Keep in mind, the fish is still hot, so it's still kind of cooking. So you better hurry up. All right, you don't want to overcook your fish. All right, get your butter softened in the microwave. Okay, so you got a butter softened. Yeah. Get your breadcrumbs, throw them in the bowl. Stir it up. All right. Does this type of butter matter? Like, this is real butter. Okay. You can probably get away with olive oil, mm -hmm. but I've never tried olive oil. You never tried um, the low fat butter? No fat butter never has anything on the real butter. That's where the flavor comes from. <laughs> Two tablespoons ain't gonna hurt nothing. Then, the cheese. Throw that in here too. Oh, God, it smells like heaven, man. Is that Parmesan cheese? Yeah. Shred. The, the one that smells like feet? <laughs> well, I get that smells good to me, you know? <laughs> Ooh, man, I'm, I'm scared to try this, man. <laughs> I'm gonna try it, though. I'm gonna try I'm gonna eat it regardless. Oh, shit. I lost too much weight not to eat. Alright. Want to get this shit mixed together? Mm hmm Throw a little seasoning. Whatever seasoning you prefer. There's a little, you can go with cayenne pepper, a little paprika. What is this one again? This is paprika. You know what I'm saying? You got garlic powder. But this is like garlic, so I'm not even gonna fuck with it. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna spare him the garlic powder. <laughs> you can go with green onions, chives, whatever seasoning you prefer. Then go with your mayonnaise and help mix it up some more. Four, three to four tablespoons should do it. Okay? That's about one tablespoon right there. Three to four should do it. You just wanna get it to where it's nice and mushy. Another one. Chris, you should be weighing that out. Yeah, I'm fucking macro hippie down there, man. I ain't angle about shit. That's why I'm bulking, man. I know. Hey, that's serious, man. <laughs> I can't wait to talk about my next cut. My next cut ain't gonna be all that crazy. I'm just gonna, uh, you'll see. I'm not gonna really get anal with my next cut until, I'm all, until I get lean. There's no need to be angry about anything unless you're lean. Hmm. Consistency is the key to losing weight when you're fat. Yeah. Just get consistent. Get a plan and stick with that shit. So, so far I got three tablespoons in this bitch. Let me touch it. Mm. Hey man, hey man. Well, Vince ain't gonna like it. <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. One more tablespoon. Fuck it, man. We broke it, man. <laughs> Fuck it. No, oh, I lost like 15 pounds. I need to put some more weight back on. All right. 
This should do it. Mixed up nice and good together. Get a little sea salt, man, for that bread crumb, bread that flavor. Sea man. salt? Yeah. Is that that hippie stuff, Chris? No, this is the this is what chefs use, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is, man, this is, you can get in your cooking game, man. Well, see, um, the only place we found that was at um that farmer's market. Yeah, man, sea salt with the chef use. I ain't dying salt and shit. She had chemical and shit in it, man. This is fresh salt, bring that flavor, man. How much you putting in? Man, I can get the shit going. I was gonna say, is it even pouring? Is it new? Okay. That's better. Okay. Just a little sprinkle, man. You gotta cook from the soul, man. Everybody's so obsessed with these fucking numbers and shit, man. Cook from the soul, man. That's how you get swole. You gotta cook from the soul, man. I tried it once, it came out horrible. I guess. Alright. So now we got the fish over here. Okay. What you do is throw your toppings on top of the fish. Just that simple. Make sure it's mixed good now. Throw your toppings on here. Throw as much as you want. Mmm. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, you look so delicious. <laughs> so like food porn over here or something. Uh, oh yeah. Chris, I'm gonna have to back up. <laughs> I don't know what's about to happen. What oh, boy? Oh yeah guys. I know you can't wait. I would have said girls, but you know, all right, whatever. I know y'all can't wait. Come out this oven. All right, guys. There you go. Nice and topped off. We're gonna put it in broil for three to five minutes. You just want the crust to be brown. All right, homies and homemade, come check us out. Come check us out. It's still cooking because it's still hot. Keep that in mind. But check it out, guys. See how brown it is. Mm-hmm. The Fish should still be flaky on the inside. Crust should be a little crispy on that. Now, if you like your crust a little bit crispy, a little bit darker, leave it in a little bit more than five minutes, maybe six or seven. But keep in mind, it doesn't stop cooking when you take it out. It's still hot, so technically it's still cooking. <laughs> keep that in mind. All right, show the plates over here. We got brown rice with ginna. What, what is ginna, do you know? Um, Man, don't get me lying to you. I just know it's healthy as fuck, man. <laughs> and, it's, and if you get tired of brown rice, try some ginna. How about pronounce it right? And it's already made. Uncle Ben's just pop it in the microwave, and it's already made. It's a little more expensive to buy it like that, but you know, hey, I believe you can't put a price on convenience sometimes. I have some you can make too, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But anyway, there it is. And we got some oranges, mandarin oranges on the side. All right, so let's go ahead and get Vince a piece. God damn, man. I'm trying. Go over here and disrespect my cooking, man. I haven't tried, like I said, I haven't tried one thing that's bad so far. I should've made chicken fried steaks, man. Well, it's always next time. Yeah, healthy chicken fried steaks. <laughs> so, he'll like. Is that even possible? Yeah. It's never as good as the real greasy shit. Let me get some drinks for us, man. What you got? I got some old Mio's, man. I got the orange. I got a uh, blueberry lemonade. I haven't tried those yet. Which one you want to try, man? I think I'll try the orange. All right, guys. Can't go wrong Mio's. with the orange. Mio's on deck. Fuck all that. Let's try the fish first, man. Fuck, man. Look get mine on the plate first, and then you try yours. Man. All right. Disrespect my cooking, man. <laughs> I'm not trying to disrespect it. You just, I know, I know I'm. Oh, shit. There you go. Good piece of that crust, man. Oh, shit. No bullshit, man. You like it, man? You just being nice, man. Oh, watch. Eat it all. This is good. Try to kill him, man. I never tried to kill him in my life. Mm. It's all right. You, know, you like brown rice pretty much, huh? Mm -hmm. Some orange is pretty sweet. You already know what they yeah, say, like. I don't know what they say, right? Hey, let me try it, guys. That's good, though. I'll give you that. That's good. All right, man. I like to hear it, man. I'm going to have to give it a GAF. <laughs> That's all right, guys. You know what GAF mean, guys? Bro, they, they can't go Google it, but watch, <laughs> watch, watch the channel. Watch yeah, the channel. Somebody in the comments that you will let you know. A loyal POG member. All right. Yeah, yeah, right there, man. That crust is like, ooh, wee! 
It's like, bing, 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 but flavor everywhere. Bing, 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 bing. All right, guys, though, you hear it from the man himself. Not bad, not bad. No, that's good. Hey, I tell you guys, G-A-L. Cook it, if you follow us on Instagram, if you follow us on Facebook, cook this shit, tag me in the pictures, blow it up. Hashtag P-O-G Army. At, Chris Jones. At, at Beast Mode Jones. Yeah, Beast Mode. Instagram information in the description. I want y'all to blow, take Instagram over. Show me. I want videos of you taste testing this shit. Everything. With the signature. With the signature. <laughs> Everything, man. Let's take this bitch over, guys. And I promise me, you show me some support, I just gotta keep the videos coming. But anyway, and don't forget, you can do some chicken as well. It tastes good as fuck with chicken, man. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. How about it, your boy? What? Chris Jones. Yeah. Chris Jones. Chris Jones. Chris Jones. Chris Jones. Chris Jones.